the uh, the New Heights podcast, Travis Kelsey's podcast. I was listening to a clip from that today. He said, you talk about how the defense has been playing really well, but the offense, he said, I don't think I've ever been in a situation where we've stalled this much as an offense throughout the year, definitely to at this point in the season. The Chiefs losing to Denver at home was just a shocking. Was it? Was, I'm sorry, was in? It that was, was in Denver. Kansas City, in, right? No, it was in Denver. It was in Denver? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because they played Taylor Swift after the game. Yeah, it was in Denver. Yeah, Yeah, it was in Denver. (laughs) But still, losing to the the Broncos, who Patrick Mahomes had never lost to before, I believe, it kind of raises some questions for a team that we're so used to seeing just dominate and get rolling and and strolling over to the number one seat in the AFC. It was the first time in a while now where I'm looking at this situation in Kansas City and saying, all right, like, Maybe they are a little susceptible. Maybe Eric Bieniemy, who we talked about in the NFL trade deadline show, maybe they're missing him more than people would have liked to have believed uh, earlier in this offseason. Are the Chiefs' struggles, are they actually worrisome to you? No. Do they uh, bleed? Well, I, 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 the fact that they haven't lost to Denver in, what was it, exactly seven years? Something. It was something. And crazy. now they do... A little bit of a cause for concern is we saw Travis Kelsey, for the most part, pretty bottled up last week, and they scored nine points. Yeah, I know. I need if, two, if, two if, ten more yards to beat you in fantasy. Yeah, I, I, you weren't going to beat me. You had no chance to beat me in that game. Uh, <laughs> but if if it's not coming from Travis Kelsey, if he's not having a, a generational day, where is it going to come from? And I trust Pat Mahomes and Andy Reid and this team to bounce back, at least offensively and not to lose two games in a row. Something's got to give, because this is a team who's won 13 November games in a row, and the Dolphins are 11-1 in the last 12 November games. Someone's got to give here. But now with Zach just brought it up with two of probably the best corners in the league back, how are the Chiefs going to change things up a little bit and try to attack this Dolphins defense with somebody outside of Travis Kelsey? Mm-hmm. When the Dolphins will be scoring points too. This, I think it just tells you how high the standards are in Kansas City. Their offense and EPA per play is fifth in the NFL. Their offense and yards per game is fourth in the NFL. The offense is actually doing quite well. And Mahomes has one game where he gets the flu and doesn't look great. And everyone's suddenly oh, worried. He, he was ill. He oh, ended up playing ill, right? Yeah. You know, he yeah. was he was clearly sick. Well, I'll tell you why Like the Kansas City offense is slightly less good. It's because they did what everyone was asking for and invested in the defense. Right. People are saying, wow, you know, this Kansas City defense, they're linebackers. We've never seen them have linebackers as good as Patrick Mahomes. But boy, I wish they had Tyree Kill on the team. Like, <laughs> no, they made this decision, right? They decided to invest in the defense. I have no real worries about the offense. This is one of the best offenses in the NFL. And for the first time in the while, Mahomes has a well above average defense. I don't think there's a lot to worry about their ability to compete. But you certainly don't want to be the first great team that the Dolphins are able to dethrone. Because if the Dolphins get going, I don't know if they'll stop. Well, that's a huge point that Ziggy brings up, is the Chiefs' defense, strong front seven, strong secondary, good unit all around. But I want to talk especially up front. The two teams this year who have beaten Miami, Buffalo and Philly, were able to pressure Tua, make him a bit uncomfortable. Can the Chiefs do that? And if they can't and Tua has time, he will eventually pick Kansas City apart. It's huge what they can do up up front in the front seven against Tua. Just putting it out there, Tua doesn't need time. He's got the fastest release time. In the he, does. Game, so. guys, he does. I mean, guys, he does. I mean, these numbers are right. <laughs> 2.36 seconds per, per yeah. throw um, for Tua. Yeah, the Eagles and Bills mauled him. And he was then, uncomfortable. Oh, well, you get mauled. Eagles didn't maul us. No, the Bills did. Bills Eagles pulled away late. Yeah. But the only times you saw Tua sacked three or more times were those games. They lose both of them. Is it? I wanted to ask you guys this question because we're, we're all in agreement the Kansas City defense is really, really good. Mm-hmm. Does that in some ways make the Chiefs as scary as ever if they have a defense that has been shutting people down for the most part or have just been doing a pretty good job this year? And then Mahomes, yeah, he was sick last weekend. Like, we can't overlook that. Does that make them you know, re- I mean, really threatening yeah, still? One of the best quarterbacks ever. One of the best offensive weapons ever. And they never really had a defense this good. Yeah, it's like, but maybe is this so, like, like secretly could this be the one of the better Chiefs teams we've seen over the years? It's hard to say not to as it comes a, together. When you have one of the best defenses in the league, it's weird. It's a weird situation. But uh, yeah, Kansas City's not a team you really want to bet against. From the yeah. Miami, wait, wait hold on. Like, I just, yeah. I almost said, can we agree that the Chiefs have a top five offense in the NFL? Maybe borderline, but top five. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. I okay, well, the, the defense to, right? is uh, fourth in yards per game and second in points per game. So he's got a top five offense and a top five defense, and people are wondering if this is the year the Chiefs are going to get dethroned. I'm not saying they're going to win a Super Bowl, but any team with a top five offense and a top five defense is automatic. It's insane. It's insane. So I, when I'm titling this video, I might actually say, is this the best Chiefs team? Like, are the Chiefs scarier than ever? And yeah, the answer actually might be yes to that. Just yeah. be patient with the offense. The like it'll come. You know, as Patrick Mahomes are talking about. Yeah, you to, finally give him a great defense. To me, like I, I, I know I was saying before. I was saying why I would show a little bit of concern if I was on that side, but to me, that really is not. To me, it was well, a, no, no. I thought you were right though, because when Kelsey, when you shut down Kelsey at times, if Pacheco can't get going. Like you know, guys don't always make plays on this offense. So you you rely heavily on Mahomes yeah. making magic, and that is a, that it should be a concern. But you happen to have the best player arguably ever. But like the problem is for most defenses, it, it's yeah. shutting down Kelsey's near impossible. Yep, yeah. and and stopping Mahomes from being magical is yeah. almost impossible. They lost too. a road game where it was cold. Mahomes was sick. I give him a pass. 